I'm right. I wish I had a brick growing up. <laughs> All right. Um, turns out that we human beings are equipped with a wonderful ability, and that is to be self-aware. And when we use that ability well, we can think about our own thoughts, our own behavior, and our own emotions. When we don't, then we suffer that we suffer, or we rationalize things and become delusional. And we all want the same thing. Everybody in this room and everybody across the planet, we want to be happy. That's not the issue. The problem is the way we go about it. <laughs> so, in the pursuit of happiness, we wind up forgetting the mighty power of electricity, for example. <laughs> But we forget to be mindful and pay attention to what really matters in our lives. So I'd like to invite you to please close your eyes for a few seconds. And just notice how your mind creates thoughts spontaneously. Please open your eyes. My talk today is about what happens when we fail to recognize that we can have mindfulness over those thoughts and ground our awareness in the present moment. So I play tennis recreationally, and every now and then I put myself in the ring and I play in a tournament. And a few years back, my uh, mixed doubles partner and I made it all the way to the final in the tournament. We were very excited, and during the first set, we were doing well. We were soaring and playing, you know, game plan and all of the things that coaches tell right before the game. <laughs> so I felt great. I felt awesome. <laughs> the people in the opponent team were not. They were having a horrible experience. They were turning on each other. They were arguing. Um, and they were actually starting to be a little bit mean towards us, making bad calls. Then uh, we won the first set and we switch sides, the lady in the opponent team disappears. She takes a long extended break, then she comes back with a very nice attitude about herself, and she complimented us on very specific aspects of our tennis mechanics. So, okay, second set begins, and months later I will realize that she was actually using a tennis mind game strategy on us. <laughs> that is actually well documented, and I was not even familiar with, even though my degree is in psychology. <laughs> so, we started to miss easy shots, we miss our bread and butter shots, then we spiral out of control and into a total panic. Now, I'm talking about recreational tennis, so nobody cares. Right? <laughs> but at that moment, when you're in those shoes, in those tennis shoes, it feels horrible. And you just feel like you want a big, big hug. <laughs> but being a psychologist, I wanted to figure out, hey, what just went down over there? How did we just lose this match when we thought we had any back? So I started to read books and I started to learn more about um, mindfulness and meditation and the Tao sports and all of that. And I got really interested and I began to incorporate the teachings from these uh, books into my classes at GCC and then all of a sudden I saw more interest in my students and I really got enthusiastic about it and I began to apply it in my own personal life as well. So what happened in the match? The lady was able to turn me into the trophy. She made me rigid, inflexible. Um, I wasn't able to really focus on what matters, which is watching the ball, right? And I just turned into the goblet from the Lord of the Rings, thinking about the trophy, my precious. <laughs> so, and I forgot to watch the ball. So these days, I continue practicing mindfulness and meditation in my personal life in my family life as I drive around town because there's a lot of crazy people out there. <laughs> and um, I think that that woman in the opponent team gave me a wonderful gift. Not only that, I continue to receive many of those gifts these days <laughs> in my life. But I think now I'm a little bit better equipped to, to be a little bit more, um, to have more equanimity, to, to be a little bit more balanced. So, 
Um, because of our human condition, chances are you're going to run into that lady. Um, not literally, but just remember that you can pay attention to your thoughts. That you, as long as you watch the ball, as long as you avoid getting electrocuted, you can enjoy the wonderful possibilities that is in the inherent happiness of the present moment. Thank you.